I've been I've been to um, performances of all kinds of shows and all the cover yes. spectrum up and down the state. So can you talk a little bit about audiences and the variety of audiences and how much that's impacted, how much impacts these numbers or how those numbers speak to that? Because I think there's a, people don't understand, particularly in Delaware. Uh, I heard Leanne say recently, she was talking, we were on the phone talking about the French, um, the French, French festival. French festival. Right. And when she came here, she was so impressed. And I'm thinking, yeah, we know that secret well, but we're not telling it. And can you talk a little bit about how it's important for people to understand the variety of audiences? and what that contributes to the impact and economic impact. Right. Um, I, I suspect with having such a large beach community, you have seasonal um, uh, attendees. Um, and that's probably what's attracting your large number of out-of-staters. I know I am one of those people <laughs> that comes and enjoys your beaches. And we thank you. <laughs> You're welcome very much. Uh, I hope you can reciprocate. <laughs> Uh, so in terms of um, audiences, you know, um, I, I think about um, the various different reasons why governments invest in support for the arts. Um, some of them do it strictly because it's to benefit their local citizens, um, in this case their statewide citizens. But then you look at places like England huge one billion dollars of um, general funding for the arts for regrant a billion dollars can you imagine um, the NEA currently is at 146 million FYI <laughs> 146 million um, and England is at one billion dollars um, a much smaller country but it's at a billion dollars and the entire justification for their budget because as you might imagine I heavily study what justifications um, governments use for their support for the arts. And their major justification is to attract out-of-state visitors, meaning anyone from outside of England. They want new money infused into <coughs> England, and they want the, their arts organizations to be the number one attraction of what gets people to come to England. 